Hello guys, and welcome back to another mCreator guide tutorial. So today what we're going to be covering is the importance of brainstorming ideas. So we'll be covering that today, and there's uh, five things that I have picked out that are probably the most important for actually brainstorming and the pros and cons of actually um, brainstorming and, you know, coming up with your own ideas for your mods and stuff like that. So we'll be covering that today, so stay tuned. All right, so the first one is uh, unique ideas. So coming up with your own ideas sometimes can be the best thing if you're a very imaginative uh, type of person. Uh, the reason for that is if you come up with your own ideas then you can sometimes get really lucky when it comes to having the unique uh, kind of feel and stuff like that. A lot of my mods are kind of like its own idea. However, I do get some inspiration from other things that I've seen in other games and other stuff like that. So, um, but everything I do from scratch. So a lot of the um, components are very unique ideas and stuff like that when it comes down to how I'm implementing it. Uh, obviously, if I were to do the exa same exact thing, then it wouldn't be as unique and stuff like that. But um, definitely coming up with your own ideas can sometimes be beneficial for um, some things that haven't been done in the modding community yet or things like um, might also attract views. So a lot of people might want to actually get that mod if it has certain unique features compared to other mods like it. So yeah, just come up with your own ideas and try to figure that out and hopefully that it's unique enough where it will catch on and it's not ahead of its uh, era and people will actually start using it for the uniqueness of that. The other option is to get inspiration. So you can find inspiration in other games, other mods, uh, things that you do on a regular basis. So things like hobbies and stuff like that. If you're into a lot of art, you might be able to get uh, inspiration from art or something like that. Or if you're into movies, you might be able to do something from a movie. So you can do a lot of uh, interesting things and um, brainstorm certain features from things that are already done in other types of media, not just uh, Minecraft, but uh, it could be other game mods as well. So uh, one of the things that I ended up creating a script for um, a while ago was uh, to basically test for uh, ores in a area below the ground. And what it could do is actually detect using slots and show the exact block that's underneath um, in that particular location. It had support for X, Y, and Z, but the thing is that wasn't exactly a unique idea. That was uh, a originally created uh, mod for uh, Starbound, um, a ground penetration device that had a UI, a GUI based thing and you could actually search around but it became really outdated and uh, I couldn't use it anymore so um, I decided to make something like that in Minecraft and it actually turned out pretty cool so you know just coming up with inspiration from other games other mods from other games or even other mods in Minecraft I mean uh, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing but you can still get inspiration from it and create your own resources, your own sounds, and eventually your own mechanics even. And it can be its like its own little genre of different types of things. So uh, that's where inspiration can actually come into play and it can also help with um, already fulfilling a demand in a ongoing um, basically thing that other people have created so if it's already been done before by someone uh, that already has a popular mod people will obviously want something like that as well and then there's already going to be a demand for that so that's important to kind of find it's an easy way to get started but it's also very competitive too so depending on which area that you go with if it's another game then it might not be as competitive but if it's in the minecraft community it could be
So another one is supply and demand. So finding something that is basically a demand for, uh, for example, um, if you wanted to create a uh, mod that has really high demand, you, you can usually get a lot of downloads and views for that particular mod if it has, um, if people really want something very similar to that. So you can browse forms and stuff like that for mod suggestions, maybe ask a few people on the M Creator forums of what kind of mods they would want to see. And uh, sometimes you get some really abstract ideas and that might uh, help with uh, creating something for a demand. So what I be mean by supply and demand is if you notice there is a trend that people are really wanting to have something, then you can actually supply that and uh, you can get ahead of the game for the downloads and the uh, views and stuff like that. Because if people already want it, then and there's no actual actual way to get that particular demand fulfilled, then people are obviously going to really want your mod. So it's a really um, quick and easy way to start. Uh, sometimes it's hard to find a demand on a certain area, but um, it's definitely an option for brainstorming for ideas and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if you notice that there is something, then you can always create a mod for it and then you can kind of get on that bandwagon. And if you do it well enough, then most likely people will choose your mod over other mods that try to join later on. So the next one is uh, improvements. So if you have something that already uh, is ongoing in one of your mods and you want to continue brainstorming ideas, you can always brainstorm ideas for that particular mod. Uh, you can add it certain features from you know all the previous things that you we've discussed above and uh, what we could do is take those features and put it into one of your own mods that you already have existing or you could also improve the certain uh, areas that um, if say you already have something in your mod that is uh, with a high demand or it's uh, poorly done with uh, like you've learned more skills to actually make it better then you can always improve it and that can also help with getting more downloads and stuff like that so uh, for example if you were to come up with a crop idea well maybe you've designed a tomato plant that is one block tall well you could also increase that plant type plant size to two blocks tall and then have um, more harvesting blocks or something similar like that. So that's just an idea of, you know, an idea for expanding and creating more ideas for certain already implemented things. Uh, another example is if you have a, a basic, a basic door, then you might want to create, um, something like a sliding door or something like that. You can always in kind of improve certain existing features and stuff. So there's tons of different things that you can do with uh, just basic stuff that you add in the main game. Uh, another suggestion is to look at already things that are in the everyday world that you live in. Uh, most likely you'll come across something uh, going to the store or, you know, going to school or whatever, and you'll notice that there's something that you might be able to implement in your mod. Uh, it's just having an open mind of how you can basically do that in M Creator itself. Now, M Creator is not really limited to what you can actually do. It's a uh, misconception, especially um, recently with all the procedure blocks and stuff that you can actually do with it. Um, I've created some really wild things before for what was uh, given to us for procedures and they keep adding more blocks and stuff like that. And there's stuff that I don't even know about that uh, things that can do and stuff. And I'm still testing new blocks and stuff like that. So it's really unlimited for what you can actually do. It's just a matter of the figuring it out with the math 
and uh, the system and then putting it into an actual plan on how you're going to turn that into an actual mod that is the difficult part and I think that's where most people actually struggle is uh, trying to kind of correlate how to take that idea and then turn it into the physical form that you see in mods. So uh, improvements, obviously really easy for coming up with uh, things that are already existing. Uh, just keep trying to improve the things that you already have to. The last thing that I want to talk about is suggestions and feedback. So basically, you can get uh, really good ideas and stuff from your own community. If people suggest something, then you might be able to take that suggestion and put it into um, your mod as well. So always be open to suggestions as it can also provide a lot of uh, interesting features for your mod as well. Uh, for example, if someone suggests something in the comments, it's always best to leave it open to them if you're going to add it or not. Um, because you're, you don't know if you might run out of ideas eventually and it might be an easy thing to actually work towards. Even if you don't fully um, support it, it's always good to at least think, consider it and um, see if you can't implement it because uh, feedback is actually really helpful. Even negative fee feedback can help with coming up with uh, new features and stuff like that. So. Uh, hopefully this guide has helped you kind of expand your ideas on um, coming up with new ideas and stuff for your mods. Uh, obviously brainstorming is not everyone's forte, but um, just try to take things from other things in the world, uh, like in real the real world or things that have already been done in games and or if you're more feeling uh, optimistic then you might be able to try getting things from um, basically the uh, supply and demand kind of thing like that so you can kind of try finding a demand that is high for certain things and you'll be able to um, branch out from there but that's all that I have for today if you're into my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out